Hi, my name is Emily Roberts, and I'm the Trimble GIS rep for the state of Alabama. Today, we'll talk about the Trimble T7 tablet and R2 receiver. I will also demonstrate the TerraFlex workflow with a field collection of street signs. So here's several highlights about each piece of equipment. Let's start with the R2. This receiver is scalable, meaning it can be purchased in submeter, subfoot, or centimeter modes. It wirelessly Bluetooths to iOS, Windows, and Android devices. This brings us to our T7 tablet, which is a Windows 10 device. I like to think of it more as a ruggedized, kind of like a, a surface. It's a very powerful handheld with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It's AT&T and Verizon certified. Both of these pieces of equipment are really made for the outdoors. The T7 features a Gorilla Glass sunlight readable screen and both offer high operating temperatures and different levels of waterproofing and durability. The combination of the two should be able to get you through just about any job. Let's go out into the field. We will be doing the demonstration in the historic downtown of Leeds, Alabama. Before the demonstration, I connected the T7 tablet to my Verizon hotspot. This will enable me to take advantage of the free Alabama DOT real-time correction, as well as sync my collected data to the Trimble Connect Cloud. So we're gonna connect the receiver to the T7 tablet through Bluetooth. So you'll go ahead and turn on your R2. Then on the screen, You'll add a Bluetooth device. And there it is. We've already paired it once, so it's on here as um, paired. And you open up TerraFlex. Um, if you've already signed in before, it'll remember your login if you ask it to. So it's a really simple sign-in. So uh, now that we have our receiver paired up, we'll go into settings. And I've chosen the port down here, um, COM13 R2. And the, the number after the R2 is just the serial number of the R2 itself. Um, you're, you have your antenna settings. So this is a two meter pole. We have that set there. And in our real-time configuration, uh, we're in Leeds, Alabama, so I've just set it for our ALDOT Birmingham. So everything is set there, and then we'll go into our status. And um, right now, as you can see, uh, ALDOT correction is already in use, and it's giving us a half-inch uh, horizontal uh, estimated accuracy and 0.9-inch um, vertical. So um, we started in an open area so we can get uh, our best reading. And now we're going to actually go out and collect some signs. So we're going to go into collect. And you'll see it says uh, sign inventory. So we'll click here. And it brings up our map of where we are. And you'll see that um, it's collected a 0.7 inch horizontal accuracy. As soon as you press collect, it has collected that point, so if you would like to step away or if you'd like to take the tablet off, you can do that at this time after you've uh, hit collect. Um, we'll just pick which sign this All right, so this is a county route marker, so we'll click that. Um, if you needed to click other options, you could do that in this area as well, but um, we only need the county route. Um, this sign looks good. It doesn't need any repair, so we're going to click no there. This is going to ask us how many signs are on this pole. So um, we would count the three route signs. So we just say three there. We'll save. And then um, in TerraFlex, once you collect a point, it's called a form, which is over here on the left. You can click on form. 
arms and it pops up right here. You can go in and hit this little uh, pencil. And then if you had any edits to make, you could do them here. Um, and if you needed to change the location, you could come down here at the um, little teardrop point and move locations. Since we don't have any edits, we're just going to um, hit save. And there you have it. And we'll move on to our next sign. When the R2 and the T7 are both mounted on a pole, it becomes an all-in-one unit and is very easy to carry. So we're at our uh, next sign, and this is just a street sign. We'll go back into collect and uh, sign inventory. Um, then under this, we'll go to the guide signs. And um, this is a road slash street sign, so we'll click there. And um, it is not in need of repair, so we'll press no. It has two signs on this pole. And then under comments, I'm just going to put what, what the um, cross streets are. So railroad, let's see if you could just say. Railroad Avenue and Ninth Street. Um, as you can see, I made a mistake there, and it's very easy to um, click on the screen with your stylus and add spaces. Um, let's see. Then. If we wanted to take an image, like I said, at any time you can step away from the pole. So if you had a, if you had a um, safe place to put your pole, you can actually take this off and take an image. So that's going to bring up the camera there. And then we'll take a picture. And there we have it, we're done. So then you would just hit uh, save, save the spot. You can also tell how easy it is to read uh, the screen in the sunlight. It's very hard to do with a, uh, an Apple uh, iPad. Okay, so now we found a sign that's in need of repair. Somebody, it looks like somebody's hit it and it's also damaged here. So we'll go ahead and collect this point. You'll just press sign inventory. You can touch it with your finger or the stylus, whatever you like doing. Um, so again, this will be a regulatory sign. So a stop sign and then a guide sign for um, truck route. So then we're going to hit in need of repair. So then it's going to automatically prompt us to take a picture. So we'll release this from the pole. Okay, I've got it. So um, then we can just rest the pole here. And I'll pull up the camera app. I'm actually going to take it from the side so you can see really what's going on here. As I said, you can move away from the point because you've already collected it. We have our picture of the sign. Get out of the road and close that. And then we're just going to go to uh, damage details. Um, we'll just say bent pole. And truck route sign. All right, number of signs on pole. Again, you just click two. If you had any additional comments or pictures you'd like to take, you could put them there. And we're just going to hit save. So um, now we've saved that point, and again, it's just uh, syncing up.
to the cloud. Super easy to read this outside. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Please feel free to reach out to your local Trimble NEI representative with the information shown on screen now.